Ladies and gentlemen, new car X update. Probably what you guys want to know is what is the new vehicle? So let's scroll down until we find it. New vehicles are marked with a green symbol, I believe. Probably at the very end. Yeah, here it is. Boys, we got a nice nimble BMW over here. Nimble E36 Compact. First of all, those taillights are so bad. Looks like a PNG. Yeah, the rear end is kind of sad looking. Front end is pretty good looking. I think they ripped it off from... Where is it? Yeah, so we already have this one. So I guess it was pretty easy for them to bring in the new vehicle because, you know, half of the car already exists in the game. But let's check it out. Nimble. First of all, let's put on ultimate setup because we are going to be drifting it as well with our steering wheel. Body kits. What kind of body kits do we have? Hopefully something not too aggressive. So this is the first body kit. Already comes with a white body. It's honestly not too bad. Don't worry about the lights. You can change the front lights if you want like normal ones with this body kit yeah this is pretty cool that is a pretty cool body kit so this is the first one this is the second one yeah this is a little too much but i guess you know if you are a racing fan this might be pretty cool i do want these uh, shaders over here on the rear window that's pretty nice and the last one is wow okay i love the lips that we have going on and the yellow headlights that looks pretty nice i really like the last one these panels are very good looking so i'm actually gonna go with this one i'm gonna buy that let's see what kind of headlight options do we have so we got stock we got yellow and then we have these weird things and sleepy eyes with the eyebrows and yellow tint version and then couple of darker ones as well the headlights are pretty good actually these darker ones are nice as well but i kind of want to use these yellow ones i don't know what it is but an old bmw with yellow headlights can't really beat that now for front bumpers this is the last bumper over here okay i see so maybe we could even i think i'm gonna go with this version it's like nice and wide could Honestly, this kind of work. You know what? I'm gonna go with a stock hood over here. Roof options. I guess one of these is shader thing, which... Oh, yeah. Okay, so nothing too crazy over here. Side mirrors. I mean, I don't really care which one of these we put on, but uh, side scores. You know what? That looks good. This one is like a curve, like a dent in the middle over here, but this one is like straight like a plank. I like it. And trunk. What do we have? Oh, this is the spoiler area. Maybe a small lip. A little a little too sad without it so i think a small lip should be fine rear bumper let's see what kind of options do we have over here nothing too crazy can't really change much over here except if you go into the first one yeah this one i like so let's grab that spoiler wait can we have two spoilers we already kind of have a spoiler oh if you go on road trips, you can use this as your table. Maybe put a chair over here, have a nice, lovely picnic. No, we're not gonna use that. Taillights. Okay, hopefully some good taillights. Let's see, I'm gonna go over all of these. Hold up, what? Well, huh? That is cool. Odd. Looks weird on this vehicle. I'm gonna use the stock ones, but we're gonna make it darker. So we have this lovely feature where if the taillights look bad, we can simply go behind over here and make this darker. I'm gonna make them like really dark. This is looking like a BMW. Let's get some window tint as well over here. Car is starting to look a little better now. I kind of like it. And I think white rims would be very lovely on this car. Or something silver even. Yeah, this actually look pretty nice we do need red calipers as well where were we at the taillights yeah we got them taillights now so for exhaust let's see we got this one smaller one this one is just poking out or we got the classic fart cannon let's just go with the fart cannon steering wheel you know lovely steering wheel quality over here we're definitely gonna have to change that so let's slap that on i guess we could change the rims but honestly these rims fit the car very well but we are gonna quickly tune the vehicle put it on 90 at easy in. and just work on the wheel fitment get some cambering as well and this is the final product over here you know what i like it this is a really cool looking car now how does it handle i'm not sure usually short wheelbase cars are not that great for drifting at least on a steering wheel how much horsepower do i have by the way oh okay 900 i think that's even too much i want to have a little less i think turbo air pressure let's bring that down i'm gonna have it as like 500 there is one thing left to do 
you and that is to test out how good is the vehicle all right we're in so let's let it rip and let's see what the first impressions are over here right now in third gear let me go into fourth yeah thousand horsepower as it comes with in the ultimate setup i think that's too much 500 is really good right now but i'm really impressed i remember when most cars that car released the physics were like really bad but nowadays most cars are so smooth that they release like this is actually gonna be one of those cars that i'm gonna be using a lot Physics wise, it's honestly 10 out of 10. I can't believe I'm saying that. I was expecting like 3 out of 10, but this is really good with basically, what is it, 30 second tune that I just did. I didn't change almost anything, just worked on the wheel fitment, lowered the power a little bit, and 98 easy. Let's try a 360 attempt as well over here. And yeah, the car is good. It's really quick as well in terms of like transitioning, but it's not too quick. Most importantly, really easy easy car to drive like this is a car you can recommend to beginners i'm really happy with the physics and you know car looking pretty cool as well over here but there is more to this update which we gotta cover so we have a new body kit as well as you can see there's an icon over here redline s the honda s2k right so let's check out the new body kit which is the master so not the x1 this is the new one so oh my god what have you done car <laughs> These are the exhaust over here. It's something. In real life, this would be an excellent body kit for like, I don't know, hill climbing maybe. Cool. New body kit. Then they added a bunch of new stickers. Jeez. So these new as well because I don't remember anyone using these before. Hey, this kind of fits on this car. Yeah, let me put it right over here. Okay. All right, besides stickers, what else do we have? Steam Workshop Maps update as well. So it's still not on console, it seems, but maybe this will help speed the process. Map developers are furious because all their maps are broken, apparently. I do want to know if that is true. So let's try to make a server with an existing... Wait, all the Steam Workshop Maps are gone. Wait, hold on. Wait, what is happening? Track Workshop? I used to have so many maps. Oh, no. I think Carrix deleted all maps. I mean, let's try one red bull ring let's download this see if that works but that's kind of sad there used to be like bazillion maps over here but now the modders will have to start doing maps from scratch again i guess okay so we got the map downloaded let's hop on back on the bmw over here and make a server on the new workshop map oh wait over here okay it appears over here red bull ring all right okay so this is a racetrack i see the map looks very light i guess the lighting is bad textures are pretty horrible <laughs> map looks like something out of roblox right now yeah i've noticed that issue that workshop maps have really weird lighting i don't know what's up with that i mean yeah there's nothing to look at over here anyway let's do a couple of 360s with our bmw and park it right over here another cool thing they did if you're tuning the vehicle if i want to know how low can i slam this so it wouldn't like clip through when the wheels turn when i'm sideways right so as you can see we got a lot of space over here we can slam it a little more so let's go lower what about right now does it clip through yeah it's starting to clip through a little bit so this is a little too low let's go a little bit higher and this seems to fix the issue Yes, yeah, so this is good. Okay, look at this boys. That's a lot of angle. So we got one BMW all the steam workshop maps deleted Mothers are pretty pissed console players are still pissed. I mean Carx has a long way to go to earn back the trust and i did hear that one of the stolen body kits we went over that previously is still in one of their mobile games if that is true guys let me know i want to know did they actually remove the stolen assets from the mobile games as well i remember the days when every update was like three to five cars and now every single update is like one or two cars max if we're lucky so this is the new standard now just one car i was hoping a little more because it seems most of the focus is on their mobile games and guys i love carx i want to go back to the old carx glory days but right now the current state of the game is a little bit sad we are a little bit neglected over here but i do understand that carx street might be coming this year there is already people actually playing carx streets on pc by the way not the mobile version the pc version 
There's like multiple people beta testing it. There's dozens of people already playing the game. We are not sadly one of them, but I remember that he promised me early access. Hopefully they are true to their word. And if I hear any news about Conrad Street or the base game, I'll make another video about it. So until then, boys, stay sideways, like and subscribe the video, and I'll see you again next time. Peace!